so-called stimulus deal has finally been announced. Now, this has already been approved by both the House, the Senate, and the White House, but as of this recording, this has not been voted on. There's simply an agreement to pass it. And barring any late-game shenanigans, this version should be passed. Let me tell you, there's a lot in here, but I only want to cover two things in this video. One, how much will the stimulus checks be? And two, who can expect to get one? Hey, listen, if you haven't already subscribed, do that now and hit that notifications bell so you'll know when I publish something new. First, how much would the checks be? Well, $1,200 for single filers and $2,400 per married couple, plus $500 per child. So who will get this? Well, Senator Chuck Grassley said, anyone with a Social Security number who was not dependent on someone else is eligible. Well, that makes it pretty clear, and it gives a real good answer to a question I've gotten literally hundreds of times in the last few days. Will this provide a benefit to those receiving a Social Security retirement benefit? Yes. What about a Social Security disability benefit? Yes. Supplemental Security Income, or SSI? Yes. But there are some income limits. Specifically, there are some upper income limits. Single filers with an adjusted gross income below $75,000 will receive the full amount. And then at that $75,000 threshold, the benefit starts to phase out. And those filing head of household will start to phase out at $112,500. And those married filing jointly will start to phase out at $150,000. So if you're married filing jointly, if your income is $150,000 or less, you'll be eligible for the full $2,400. Now, if you find yourself just somewhere over that amount, that's not a threshold that you cross and you don't get a benefit at all if you're $1 above that threshold amount. It's a phase out, and that's where the phase out begins. You can easily find out if you're still gonna get a benefit by calculating how much your phase out amount's gonna be by simply reducing your stimulus benefit by $5 for every $100 over that first threshold that we talked about. Now, this income is going to be based on 2019 tax returns, if you filed them. And if you haven't already filed them, it's going to be based on your 2018 tax returns. So here's a big question I get. Devin, all I got was Social Security. I didn't file a tax return. Well, that's going to be okay, too, because if you only receive Social Security benefits or if your income was otherwise too low, Tax returns aren't going to be required to claim the money. The government's going to use information like a SSA Form 1099 or a Social Security Benefits Verification Statement or some other things they'll use as verification in there. So when are these payments going to be made? Well, according to the bill, they'll be made as rapidly as possible. Now, that means that no later than December 31st, 2020, although they're likely going to be paid a lot faster than that. They're going to be made via direct deposit to an account that you've authorized for tax refunds or federal payments sometime on or after January 1st, 2018. A notice is going to be sent to that person's last known address within 15 days of that payment being made, informing them of that method and amount of payment. They're also going to give you a phone number so you can call the IRS if you didn't get your check. I'm sure some other little details are going to surface, but that's the basics of what you need to know about how much is the stimulus and who's going to get it. Don't forget, before you leave, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. That way, if anything does change, you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching.